we all procrastinate. It's just something that we do. I even procrastinated on working on this video. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Sometimes procrastination can be good. Imagine a hurricane coming and you aren't sure that you want to evacuate yet, so you procrastinate. The next day, the hurricane path has changed and you're fine. But procrastination can also be bad. Very bad. A lot. Imagine you have a school project due in a week and you decide to hold it off like, Psh, I have a bit, I don't need to work on it right now. Six days later, hey dude, did you finish your project yet? You may also be watching some TV or YouTube or whatever you prefer. It's almost midnight and you're getting tired, so you just say, just one more. And after that you say, mm, just one more. This just one more process goes on for a very long time. Wow, I'm glad I'm still watching this. It's getting really interesting. Ah, who turned on the lights? Oh. A lot of times you don't even realize you're procrastinating. Your brain just says, hey, I know you should be studying for your test, but you got a while. You should be fine. And what happens? You fail the test. I actually have a test I should be studying for right now, but it's it's fine. I'll just I'll do this end card real quick. So hey guys, it's me. Finally got this done. And you're probably like, but Luke, what do you mean finally? It's only been a week. Well, what I mean by that is I've been working on this on and off for the past month or so. And the fact that it got done is just great. This took me a long time, by the way, okay? I'm just gonna say that. Despite it being short, because I'm still getting used to all of this, I put a lot of effort into every single part of it. Maybe a few parts I kind of slacked on because it was late and I was getting tired. So, uh, 